नमस्कार स्वागत छ दर्शक गुणहरुलाई कार्यक्रम प्राइम कर्पोरेटमा म रोहन श्रेष्ठ प्राइम कर्पोरेटको आजको यस श्रृंखलामा हामी वैदेशिक लगानीको विषयमा कुराकानी गर्न गइरहेका छौ किनभने देखि हाम्रो मुलुक विकासको लागि वैदेशिक लगानी भन्ने कुरा एकदमै महत्त्वपूर्ण छ भनेर भनिरहेको यो परिप्रेक्ष्यमा त्यस्तै गरेर यो VNY 2020 भनेर टुरिज्म इयर मनाइरहेको परिप्रेक्ष्यमा इन्भेस्टमेन्ट समिटहरु गरिरहेको यस अवधिमा साच्चै नै विदेशी मुलुकले अथवा चाहिँ दात्री मुलुकहरुले नेपालबाट के अपेक्षा राख्दछ त्यस्तै गरेर चाहिँ नेपालले कस्तो किसिमको वातावरण सृजना गर्न सक्यो भने साच्चै नै विदेशी लगानी नेपालमा भित्रिन सक्छ त युवा यावत विषयमा आज हामी कुराकानी गर्न गइरहेका छौ त्यसको लागि आज हाम्रो स्टुडियोमा जापानबाट पाल्नु भएका अतिथि हुनुहुन्छ जीवीई ग्रुपका सीईओ कोजी पुचा आज हामी सँग हुनुहुन्छ उहाँलाई स्वागत गरौ वेलकम टु नेपाल वेलकम टु प्राइम टाइम्स टेलिभिजन Namaste. Ekdam namaste. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm fine, Noha. How First are you? First of all, we would like to welcome you in Nepal. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm also good. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Uh, when did you come to Nepal? This time? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. So how long will you be staying well, in Nepal? Well, again, I'm leaving tonight. <laughs> okay. Just like on the 1st of September. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what is the main purpose of your visit this time? Well, we want to uh, make investment in Nepal. Uh -huh. Nepal uh, is a great country, right. and especially uh, the people are so nice. Mm -hmm. So we want to. Uh, I'm Japanese, and we want to be a very friends, good friends of uh, Nepal. Mm -hmm. So within these three years, uh, three months, ten yes. years, this is the second visit of yours in it Nepal, is, isn't yes. it? Uh, it is. What did you say on Nepal and the Nepali people? Since you have been saying that Nepal is a beautiful country it and is. the Nepalese are good, isn't it? Yes. So how do you want to connect Nepal and Nepali with Japan? Well, so uh, first of all, uh, Japan have a similar uh, initiative like Nepal to 2020. Mm -hmm. And Japan has tripled the tourism international uh, what we called uh, 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 the tourists visitor, yeah, tourist, uh, coming in, into Japan inbound mm -hmm. uh, what we call inbound tourism when is this the same in 2020 or what no 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 uh, uh, much uh, much earlier earlier okay it was uh -huh. three or four years uh, time period mm -hmm. and it was successful that uh, Japan has attracted and I think that uh, Nepal is going to do the same right. and you are going to be m maybe more successful mm -hmm. if you market uh, right mm -hmm. What was the strategy that time, the Japanese government or the Japanese private sector, to okay. attract the tourists in Japan? Yes. So, most famous one mm -hmm. is a skiing resort called Niseko. What was successful f there is that instead of Japanese managing to invite people... Niseko. Niseko. Niseko skiing, what does that mean? Uh, Niseko is the name of the city, uh, okay. the town. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. there is, uh, originally, it was a very small town. Mm -hmm. But it is probably now most expensive skiing resort uh, in the world. So uh, the the reason why it's successful is rather than Japanese manager running the place, the Australian uh, uh, managers started to run it. Mm -hmm. And because the tourists are uh, in English needed to speak in English, this has been very successful. So rather than you uh, one try to Japanese try to do its own, that Japanese has tie up with English native speaking person and that they invited naturally. And Niseko has been very, very successful. So it wasn't originally intending that way, but it has been turned out that way. So I think that uh, one of the successful places, uh, they have now hired Chinese uh, people to invite more China, if you want to invite. And if you want to invite more pe people from English-speaking uh, country, then you have hired some English-speaking people. That is probably the success of uh, uh, Japanese inbound tourism. So language is the must, isn't it? J language and also or customs, right? Cust uh, cust uh, you need to understand what kind of customs you want to bring it in for those people. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, the tourists tourist from China uh, is so much, they spend a lot of money. So if you put uh, 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 the ch uh, Chinese in uh, 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 some shop mm -hmm. shops, mm -hmm then they sell uh, quite amazingly. Okay. Uh, so these are the things which should be kept in mind, isn't it? To Absol absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you want to uh, bring uh, Chinese, probably you should hire some Ch Chinese-speaking person. If you want to invite, uh, if you want to get some attraction from Japanese, you should hire some Japanese-speaking person. And there's many, many Nepalis who has been 
abroad. So there must be some that parties who is fluent in Chinese or in Japanese, and then you can bring them back, and then you can send more people uh, abroad too. How Japan can help uh, to flourish tourism in Nepal? Since we well, are celebrating, this is the Visit Nepal Year 2020, as yes. we have already said. Yes. So, so I have I, after my September visit, uh, I have spoken to uh, the Japanese largest uh, marketing advertising okay. co uh, company mm -hmm. called Gensu, mm -hmm. and they are interested in. Uh, they did not know how, uh, uh, because you see, Nepal is sandwiched between China and, and uh, India. India, and uh, there was no direct flight. Now there is a direct flight from. Uh, Kansai Airport to, uh, to Nepal. Kathmandu, right. Yeah, Kathmandu, but that's quite empty because people don't know there was such kind of direct flight, for example. But So if you can uh, advertise properly, probably you can fill the airplane much better. So simple things like, like that, uh, uh, we, uh, I think that we can help. Uh, or, or maybe you can help. Advertise is the foremost thing to attract the tourists from Japan. Yeah, but advertisement is, again, many, many e e ways you can do it. So, for example, if you want to attract uh, young people, right. of course, uh, Instagram and all this uh, social networks social is media. great. Yeah, social media is uh, great. Mm -hmm. And the social media, you don't spend a lot of money and you can target uh, some certain segment. Mm -hmm. So, I think that uh, this is going to lead you to think about more digitalized world, digital economy, and you need to think about uh, what we call digital uh, 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 transformation. Mm -hmm. Nepal for the Japanese people, how do uh, the Japanese people in Japan, they see Nepal and the Nepali culture? Right, so Japan, Japanese uh, 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 feel that Nepal, Nepalese people are trustworthy. They are probably the top of the trustworthiness. Mm -hmm. okay. And just like uh, Japan used to be. Japanese people used to be is very trustworthy. Uh -huh. And now there's more uh, crimes and other things. Right. Uh -huh. uh, basically, that uh, there's a uh, different sort of culture. Uh -huh. But Nepali people are still very mild and they are good nature in nature. What kind of opportunity do you see in Nepal? How can uh, Japan invest in Nepal? So uh, I think the Nepali people are uh, uh, very serious and uh, good nature. So therefore, that human resources is the best sort of resource you have. You have also natural resources and then, uh, nature itself and the land and other things. But for me, that important thing is that you have a human resources, which is abundant and it, there's a lot of unemployment. Mm. But human resource alone cannot do anything, isn't it? There must be something technological advancement or how we can extract or how we, we can uh, utilize the nature. This thing yes. is a must, isn't it? You so on right. that, uh, how have you planned to do something or to invest in Nepal? So my focus, and I think that where I can uh, contribute, mm -hmm. is that uh, there's a lot of high technology uh, uh, outside of Nepal, and not many people here understand what is high technology. So we want to bring money and technology, and we want to uh, uh, cooperate with uh, uh, young people and even old people who are very, uh, very capable mm -hmm. of here. So what might be the strategy for that? How are you planning to invest in Nepal? In nowadays, that uh, uh, Japanese are usually surprised how the, in the statistics that uh, in Nepal, how many people have a, a smartphone, mobile phone? Okay. Uh -huh. Even the rural area where uh, uh, the, uh, the houses are, are not sort of good, but people have a, a, a mobile, phone, phone. mobile phones. Mm -hmm. And these mobile phones can be used as a weapon. This can be used as a tool. And it doesn't really matter whether you are now sandwiched between China and India. With your brain, if you use your brain, then you can work remotely. Technological advance. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. Exactly. So now, until now, there was a sort of technological uh, uh, division. But I had a meeting with Nepal Telecom yesterday, and they say that within six months, that they can cover all the areas of uh, inhabitants' area, which is great. Now, with this, at this 3G, and they are going to upgrade 4G, 5G, there is a less uh, uh, digital divide, okay. which is a great opportunity for Nepal people. Technology for the development of the country and its people. What is your say on it? It is, yes. Because you see, country is a collection of people, right? So a collection of residents. So if the uh, literacy of digital and then, and then people can be uh, weaponized with uh, digitalized tools, then you can, just like old days, 
when uh, the car comes in and then or some kind of bulldozer comes in some people say this is uh, not good because there is a less sort of uh, 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 labor uh, usage but that's not uh, what it's all about the uh, phone smartphones and the mobile phone and network is the same you can use it if you use it cleverly then that should be good if you use it wildly then that's going to be dangerous don't you think that the literacy rate of the country matters for this uh, technological uh, development? Well, in fact, uh, uh, this technological development can help people to more literate, mm -hmm. right? So if you uh, uh, have uh, the phone, then it's not only young age you can learn. Now, even you are old as I'm 60 years old, I can still learn from uh, a mobile. But it, more and more, I think that the phone maker is making it much easier for all people to uh, how to use okay. it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then I think that it is important for uh, a prime uh, corporate to educate people throughout network because everybody has a TV and everybody can uh, uh, watch TV. Mm -hmm. You are here for the investment in Nepal, yes. for the development of Nepal. Yes. Since we are on the track of development as well, yes. how do you analyze the pace of uh, development in Nepal? Well, I think that there is more room for a much faster development. And I think that uh, people uh, should aware that uh, there are some way that if people can think about more what we call sustainable development uh, growth, then I think that the Nepal can grow much faster. Mm -hmm. What might be the thing that uh, we have to focus or we have to keep in mind for the development of the country? I think that, uh, uh, first of all, it depends on who you are. If you are government, then just like the current government is doing, I think that you usually need to invest more. Mm -hmm. Uh, with infrastructure, which include uh, the information technology as well. Now, information technology is, uh, 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 is uh, infrastructure, just like road, water, uh, and switch. And again, I think that there's a lot of uh, things you need to do for water uh, uh, piping or switch and uh, to make it uh, more hygienic, mm -hmm. and uh, as, as well as power, all these things. Mm -hmm. How can we do that? Well, I think that uh, you need to ask more help from international uh, uh, agency. And I think that if you plan uh, uh, better, you can attract more money to come in. What is your analysis on the overall uh, business environment, overall investment environment in Nepal? I think it's going to be uh, getting better and better. Now you have uh, 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 expanded uh, uh, international airport. And as you have been not, you have been not surrounded by any sea, mm -hmm. that airplane uh, traveling from uh, abroad is quite important. Mm -hmm. And also, I think that you have been developing about uh, uh, train between the borders, which is also important. I, I'm hopeful. Uh, it's just uh, the uh, uh, more people, more people to be uh, entrepreneurial. So, for example, there's uh, many uh, uh, Nepali people who uh, 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 work abroad and getting a lot of money. When they come back, I want them to be more entrepreneurial and they want to, I want to, uh, them to start corporate rather than spending money to the house and that they uh, go, uh, 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 the, the cash level is grow and go back uh, to the abroad again. That's not really a good cycle. I think that if they can make money uh, fast, I think they can borrow money from banks or international aid agencies and that they should start some business. And I think that they can- How bring important is entrepreneurship? It's very important. Entrepreneurship is uh, 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 very, uh, uh, is rare and important everywhere. And I think that the, the reason why Japan was successful in the 80s when the bubble period uh, comes, there's many, many entrepreneurs. After that, that there's less entrepreneur. And then the famous place are like uh, uh, Bay Area in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Again, there are many uh, entrepreneurs, but not only entrepreneurs, but also some need to bankers, uh, uh, need to be supported. And unless you have uh, some kind of money, it is in, in, in very difficult for even entrepreneur to start, uh, start business. Mm -hmm. So how had Japan uh, uh, drafted a policy uh, to uh, you know, to enhance entrepreneurship in Japan, what kind of policy it has drafted? Well, uh, I think that Japan is still uh, struggling to draft itself, but Japan has this program uh, through JICA, which is one of the largest aid, uh, agency, uh, who uh, I had a meeting with them, and they have a plan to give money to those uh, uh, Nepali people who come uh, uh, back from abroad mm -hmm. and who has some money, and if they are interested in building the business, they are, they are happy to give the technical uh, uh, assistance as well as money. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Let's talk something on the policy because uh, for everything policy drafted by the government is the foremost thing, isn't it? Yes. So what kind of policy that we need to draft to attract the foreign investment in any sector? It might be tourism or it might be technology or whatever. Yeah, well, it depends on uh, 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 the industry, but uh, across the industry wise, the most important incentive for foreign uh, investment is that if you have a tax incentive, right? So if you create some uh, 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 economic free zone and make people to uh, say that this industry, Nepal want to emphasize, we are happy to give you 10 years tax free uh, system for corporate tax or something like that. Mm -hmm. That is going to uh, uh, attract a lot of uh, people. So I think that used to be that there was 80% uh, 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 of the cars are Japanese in here, but Japan didn't find it many uh, attraction in Nepal. So they, I think they left and there's right. mm -hmm. uh, very less and less ca uh, cars. But I think that uh, car industries are struggling. So if you want to bring a car company like Toyota to come in, then you can negotiate with some kind of tax advantage. Mm -hmm. So on this backdrop, do you think that Nepal is a fertile land for investment? Yeah, you are right. Yes, absolutely. So I think that it's both uh, uh, agriculture mm -hmm. as, well as fish farming. There is, a f uh, to me, uh, high quality uh, agriculture products and uh, fish farming. I think that you have, a, you have a great sort of nature, great environment. But people, they are a bit detached from the agriculture sector in Nepal. It is, yes, and that's uh, sad because I think that you have a, a lot of uh, arable land. You, ha you can uh, ca culture, cultivate, and uh, some of the land you have is uh, 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 you can grow the organic, uh, uh, basically sustainable organic products, which can command five times, six times more price than uh, non-organic uh, compared with non-organic products. Tell us something about Japan, how Japan has uh, focused on the agricultural sector. Japan uh, has, uh, just like Nepal, uh, the area which we can use for land is limited. Therefore, that people have to focus how they can uh, produce uh, high value added agriculture products. And then, therefore, that some people have been growing uh, and uh, develop a good seed. Uh, so it's uh, like uh, strawberry. There's one strawberry, it, it can be, one um, a piece of strawberry can be $10 or $20. It's amazing the price. Uh, so people have been focused on the high-end value uh, products. That's what uh, Japan did. You don't have to do the same. Okay. But I think that you can uh, talk to uh, your government and have uh, maybe relax about some quarantine to bring some non uh, 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 new sort of uh, species of uh, new seed of this agriculture and you can grow. If you are in the agriculture, it's quite simple. If you have fertile land, then the temperature and how much sunshine you have, if you find a similar kind of uh, area with Japan, you can grow exactly the same. Are uh, they motivated to invest their effort in agriculture sector? Because, because in Nepal, if we see, then the youth, they are uh, uh, not attracted to invest their uh, work their, to, to invest their effort in the agriculture sector. How has uh, Japanese government uh, tried to, you know, motivate the youth in Japan to invest their effort in this agriculture sector? Well, in fact, uh, Japan is, uh, has failed to attract young people, mm -hmm. which is an opportunity for young uh, Nepali uh, people who are happy to come to Japan and now to how to grow uh, uh, these products. Because you see, all the uh, uh, Japanese agriculture uh, area, especially in the fruit industry, high-end fruit industry, the average uh, age of uh, the farmers is over 70, which they cannot do it. So if anybody is coming from Nepal and say they want to learn and that they want to help them to grow, they are very happy to teach their secrets of how to grow the high-end products. Okay. And after that, Obviously, it's easier and much uh, more effective if you bring the same technology and the same seed from Japan to here and they grow it in a much bigger scale and you can make a fortune. Mm -hmm. So, uh, at last, we are running out of time. Yes. Uh, so, what shall we expect from you? What, uh, well, uh, there's two things. I still am uh, hoping that I can find a place. Are you optimistic? I have to be optimistic. <laughs> the businessman has to be both optimistic and pessimistic right. in the sense that we have to be very careful of how to allocate money 
but at the same time, unless you are hopeful of the future, that you can make, not make any investment. And here, I think it's a great time to make, make investment in digital economy because it is uh, such uh, uh, underdeveloped. I think that the, the leap of you can make, uh, which is going to be the big return for investor and for the people. How can it uh, support the people in Nepal? Digital economy. Okay, so I think that uh, if you plan properly, then you can catch up with Estonia, okay. which is one of the most uh, advanced uh, dis digital uh, transformed uh, uh, country uh, in Nepal. Thank you so much for your wonderful opinion and your insightful thought. Well, Lohan, thank you very much for inviting me again. Well, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. The Bad Lab and Theater, the Tanevada, the Hamilai Satin of Hakama Hirde Ronohola, Prime Times Television. Namaskar. No